time now for part two of our special report on what some believe to be a miracle cure for AIDS developed by a Tulsa doctor. Yeah, here again is Fox 23's Jenna Clark. She continues this Fox 23 exclusive. Back in 2004, photographer Doug Henderson witnessed a Tulsa doctor doing clinical trials in Africa and perform what seemed like miracles. The doctor injected AIDS patients with his serum made from a goat. Doug says the doctor's serum appeared to have been working. After Doug came home, he heard about a little girl who took the serum before the doctor ever left for Africa. Doug says she may be the best evidence that the doctor's serum might actually be the cure for AIDS. Uh, that's me. People tell her she looks and much younger, but Precious is 17 now. Mm -hmm. And that's a big deal when you have a deadly virus. I was born with HIV, uh, contracted it from my mother, my birth mother. Her drug-addicted mother gave her to a woman named Rocky Thomas, who says she loved that baby instantly and adopted her. Oh my goodness, yes, it was just an a instant bond. That was my baby. Rocky says even as a baby, Precious was sick and spent more time in the hospital than at home. This picture, I probably was sick. They were living in Washington, D.C., just as they do now. Precious was getting the best care in the country. She was just staying sick. I mean, we did um, ample amount of medicines, medicine on top of medicine. By the time Precious was six, Rocky knew her little girl could die any day. Rocky was desperate, so when she heard about a doctor in Tulsa who said he had a new treatment he created by injecting a goat, Rocky didn't care if it sounded crazy. It didn't matter how nuts it was right at, at that point in time. In 1998, Rocky made arrangements to get on a train with Precious to travel a thousand miles to meet this doctor and his so-called goat serum, and she didn't tell a soul. Nobody wasn't going to talk me out of doing what I did. When Rocky and Precious got to Tulsa, they met Dr. Gary Davis, a family practitioner who'd injected goats with the AIDS virus and then used the antibodies the goats made to create a serum. Dr. Davis died in 2007, but Rocky says when she met him, she could tell he just wanted to make sick people well. He was a, a man of God that wanted to help people. And he said God had given him this vision to go get the antibody from this goat. Rocky says she asked the doctor dozens of questions and he even showed her a vial of the serum itself. She says when the doctor wasn't looking, she did something only a desperate mother would do. But I know I took it. What do you mean you took it? I took the serum. You stole it? I stole it. Did you think about asking Dr. Davis? He couldn't. You asked him I did. It. And what did he say? He couldn't do it because it, was F it wasn't FDA approved. Rocky says with the knowledge she had, she gave Precious the serum. And within hours, Precious was different, full of energy, the kind a six-year-old should have. It scared me that she was all over the place, jumping off the couch. Rocky says over the next few days, she kept giving Precious injections until the serum was gone. And she was just up, running around, wanting to eat. Did you know for sure it was the serum? It had to be the serum because she wasn't on anything. She wasn't taking anything. Okay. Rocky and Precious came home to Washington, D.C., and Rocky says part of her was terrified someone would find out what she had done. But when she looked at how healthy Precious was, she didn't care. What did I have to lose? Her? You know, lock me up? Okay, that's the chance I was going to take. Not long after she got home, Precious went for a checkup. Doctors at the National Institutes of Health were monitoring her. When the lab report came back, Rocky says everyone was stunned about Precious's viral load. I started shaking. I was sweating. I said, come here, Precious. And we was in there jumping and screaming. And I was like, your viral load is zero. Baby, your viral load is zero. And she was, you know, oh, my God. You talk about a good feeling. And... At that point in time, I didn't care. I got on the phone, called Dr. Davis, and it was like a party. Was he mad at you? No, not at all. He understood. He understood you were a desperate He's, mother. He, yeah, he understood the desperation. Her lab report showed Precious's viral load was undetectable. There was no sign of the HIV virus in her blood. Had any other medication done that? Never. Had any other medication come close? Never. Rocky says she didn't know how to tell the doctors at the NIH what she had done. But soon after, they were all there at the Congressional Black Caucus, where an obviously healthier Precious 
was the keynote speaker. I know many of you are looking at me and saying, what could a little girl like me have to say? My name is Precious Thomas. Rocky decided that would be the time Precious would tell the world about the serum. Rocky says she was literally sick with worry. I was nervous. I was sick. I was sick. Who would have thought something this special could be found in a goat? That's when the story came out. Then what happened? Nothing. Rocky says she tried to talk to health officials at the NIH about the serum. She was hoping she could help Dr. Davis get his serum approved by the Food and Drug Administration. And what did they say? They weren't a boss of it. It was like nobody wanted to talk about it. Somebody could have with us and should have, could have been approved, should have been approved, and it could have helped people. At the same time Rocky gave the serum to Precious, Dr. Davis was working with the FDA to get a clinical trial. But that clinical trial never happened. A frustrated Dr. Davis went all the way to Africa to continue his research. Linda Wilmez worked as the doctor's assistant in Africa. She says six hours before the clinical trial in the U.S. was supposed to start, the FDA pulled the plug, saying it needed more answers. He was sent multiple questions, not once but twice. He answered all the questions and sent them back, and, and still, still nothing. We came to the National Institutes of Health in Washington, D.C. Representatives in the AIDS division say the science behind Dr. Davis's research wasn't good enough. They say they worked with Dr. Davis to try to help him continue his research, but they say he ignored them. As far as we know, Precious is the only person in America who's taken the serum. Is Dr. Davis' serum the only medication you've ever taken out of all these medications that actually made your viral load go down that significantly and down to zero? Yes. So that's why you believe in it. Right. Several months after she took the serum, Precious's viral load creeped back up. But Rocky believes had she given her daughter the full dosage, her daughter would be cured. It worked. It, it worked. Now Rocky's afraid that when Dr. Davis died, the cure for AIDS may have died with him. All he wanted to do was help. So, it's like we'll never know. I asked representatives at the NIH if they would consider looking into the serum today, but they didn't seem interested. Dr. Anthony Fauci, director of the AIDS division of the NIH, did give us this statement. Quote, not only is there not any basis for it to work, but there is evidence to the contrary that it won't work because this type of approach has been tried before in an even more sophisticated way. I wish they'd just give us an opportunity. Just give us a chance. Doug Henderson, a photographer who documented Dr. Davis's clinical trial in Africa, says even a skeptic like him sees potential in Davis's serum. Either this is the cure for AIDS or the biggest con anybody's ever pulled. Take my to zero. Doug still says the best evidence that the serum could be a cure is a little girl named Precious who believes she's only alive today because of Dr. Davis's serum. I think he was on to something that was really good and I just wish, you know, he could have finished. As far as we know, at least 25 people in Africa took Dr. Davis's goat serum. Linda, the doctor's assistant, says a year after they took the serum, they were all still doing well. But she hasn't been able to get an update since then. She says she's willing to do whatever it takes to continue Dr. Davis's work, whether that's in this country or somewhere else. Jana Clark, Fox 23 News. To see these stories again and share